Hey guys, it's Antonio, and welcome to my new Let's Play, which will be Pikmin. It's going to be first in a series of three short games I want to Let's Play, because Pikmin's a pretty short game. I think at the most it'll be like 20 episodes, possibly 30 if I do really awful, because I've only beaten this game once, so I don't know how it's going to go. But, let's go to this loading crew, and I totally didn't play that. I think actually that wasn't me, that was my friend trying out Pikmin. Let's go to our captain's log, and I, I swear I beat this game before. This is probably... The first game, and I'll, I should let this intro, I'll talk about it later. The impact site. And it looks like our hero, Olimar, is kind of having a bad day. Well, actually getting hit by a meteor will probably make your day pretty bad. So, let's see what Olimar is up to. I, I completely forget how the game starts, so... this It's another one of those blind Let's Plays. Not blind. I've played it before, but I haven't played it in a while, so I don't know what's going on. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I woke on the surface of a weird planet. With parts lost, and the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this plant environment contains poisonous oxygen. My life support system can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no, I better not think... Better not to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. So yeah, that's our magical ship that we- Why do I use magical to describe everything? And then this is our little guy, Alamar, who crashed land on this planet. And let's see if there's anything we can do here. I forget- Wait. I, I forget actually all the controls. I'm gonna have to actually pay attention to the tutorials real quick. But once I get back into knowing what's going on, I'm going to be really bored at tutorials. Because this game, I mean, it's only one, like, I guess it's 15 minutes of tutorials, but when you know what's going on, it's a pain in the ass. A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as it was, if it was waiting for me. Then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? It is a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion, so I shall call this an onion too. So, let's walk over to this little seed and do nothing. I guess we can't. Let's just punch this thing while we wait. Punch, 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 Such an interesting let's play, I know. This is really making you want to go play the game. But, let's figure out what this is. If you don't already know, I'm Saves Untitled. Wait, why did I? Never mind. The seed that the onion has dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but go press A. And with that we get our first introduction to Pikmin with the cute adorable red one who I believe is the only one with the nose. And oh that looks so weird when you see like the side angle with the nose. It just, eh. I like him cute without the nose. Like Michael Jackson. Extraordinary. When I plucked the sprout, it turned into be, out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking has done no visible damage. It just stands there staring back at me. Its shape is so similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much, so I believe I should call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive. And I'm, I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it and throw it with A, and I will call it to my side with B. Hmm, perhaps it'll react to C and X as well. I always love how just how stupid Alomar would sound if he was talking to another person and not to someone playing the game. Oh yeah, so just you're talking to your friend in real life. Oh, I love playing football. If I just press the A button at the right... What the hell are you talking about, boy? So we get our little minion Pikmin things who we can do very various things with, along with doing that so we don't have to go punch it ourselves and... I'm not going to explain the controls to you, but you can do a lot of things with Pikmin. This game is sort of like... I don't know what I'd call it. Uh, 
I guess it's sort of a real-time strategy thing with a lot of multitasking. That's what I like about it. It takes a lot of thought. Astonishing! The onion has sown more seeds. The red pellet that the pigment harvest after cutting down some... Oh, flower, some type of food that can propagate more pigment. The onion seems to be sort of an incubator. Needless to say, I must study this more. These things I think are called pellet posies. I know some of the official names for stuff, and then I have no idea for other things, and I'll act like I know what they are, and then I'll say something ridiculously stupid and wrong. But, uh, they just make more pigment when you bring them to your onion. And if you bring it to the onion of the same color, one with one on it will give you two. I think one with, like, ten on it will give you fifteen. But... Just, we have to find more of these in this first day and just get some more Pikmin. This first day is really slow and it's probably not a great introduction to people who've never played Pikmin before. But Pikmin's a really, really fun game. Like I was trying to say when I was doing the title screen, this is probably the first game that I've played recently that I let's play. Like the first time, the next closest one would probably be Bioshock 2. And I guess I played that like maybe, and there's no piece up here. Maybe 2008. 2009 was one. Oh no, that's that, it's so weird to think 2008 is like so long ago. I I don't know. 2013's weird. A lot of games I play and love are older than 10 years. I'm getting old, man. I'm 16. I'm way too old. Uh, so we just need to make more Pikmin, and I have no idea where the rest of the pellet poses are. I believe we need 10. There's none over here. Is there any up by the dolphin? Is there any back here? Also, uh, if you didn't get the joke or reference made by the dolphin the gamecube's uh original name or it's like project name how the xbox one was like durango and uh, all the game system had the project name the project name for the uh gamecube was dolphin so there's that reference and i have no idea where these pikmin this pellet posies are so i'm making a great great let's play i guarantee that's not even called pellet posies okay almar tell me where the hell they are they're not up here right Ah, Jesus. Am I really gonna have to cut in the first episode because of my stupidity? Yeah, I totally know this game. I can let's play it. Maybe I only need five to push this thing over here. Oh, nope, there's a Pell Posey over there. Let me call these dudes back to me. But the game is a lot of... Oh, there's there's a five. That'll take care of it. I'll put five guys on that. The little bar that comes up... I'll try to explain the little things in Pikmin. I hate how you can't just... Ah, you can't, like, call one off a thingy. Sometimes, the controls kind of stuff... If I was playing the Wii, I think there's, like, a updated version with the Wii controls, even though I, I like using the GameCube control for this. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't like the Wii thing. But, hey, you never know until you try. Like, I watched the Let's Play of this game. It looked cool, but I just felt like I wouldn't enjoy playing it. But I went and finally played it for some random reason, and I enjoyed it so much. It's such a fun game. It's a lot of thought and multitasking and trying to do more than one thing at once that's what multitasking is but you just have these adorable guys and you're on this adorable planet doing adorable things and i just overuse adjectives a lot and i just say them over and over again if you leave the pigment in the ground just to, like stay there actually i think i'll try it and see if i can get anything to happen but i'm not sure if it will do in this time frame but we only need 10 for this so we can bring them over here so after pushing this suspicious 10 block with it we push it over and I think we can get to the part that's over here now. This first day is pretty boring. It's just basically tutorials, which it makes sense, but always going back to a game that you've played before, tutorials are a pain in the ass. Some games do it well where you don't have to do it, but the Pikmin are curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for the individual. Like communism! A glitter of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can use it, their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall some... All, all I've learned- Why can I not read today? I feel like I'm, like, reading at a fifth grade level. Approach and press A to pick sprouts. Okay, it's stuff we already know that you guys really don't need me to read. So, you can call them back with that. And then, I believe- Do we need 15 for this part, or is it 10? That would be nice. But the main focus of this game is going to be outlined right here with us getting our first part. Amazing! There's no mistaking it! My ship's engine rests before me, my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I've already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Faith has smiled upon me, but how are you going to get it back to the dolphin? Well, you'll get it back by doing this. Oh no, we have to get all these Pikmin, so probably those ones that didn't sprout yet, we have to do that. But, the main focus of this game, actually, really the only focus well i guess raising up pikmin can be considered a focus too is getting all your ship parts back and trying to get off this planet after 30 days this game is very unlike its sequel pikmin 2 as in that game you're just going and trying to make money so you 
get out of debt and you have an unlimited time to finish the game. This, you only have 30 days and I believe, I don't know how long the days are, I think maybe like somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes real time is how long a day is. And if you just get one piece a day, you can do it. And sometimes you'll get zero pieces a day, sometimes you'll get like five pieces a day. In my first let's play, uh, yeah, my first playthrough of it, and no, sometimes, actually no, when you leave the Pikmin in the ground, my name Pikmin Seed, spread it once, I know, I can just tap A a lot, I got it, okay, bright color, but, if you leave Pikmin in the ground for a while, they'll grow, and they'll slowly become buds, bud Pikmin will run faster, and then I believe, flower Pikmin run the fastest, and I don't think it changes, like, how much damage they do, I know, well, I'll leave that for later, differences between possible other Pikmin. There's other Pikmin? What? Oh, I guess I could have left them in the ground because I only needed 20. But if you leave them in the ground longer, they'll sprout. No, Olimar, we don't need to do that. Also, I really like this game's camera. It works really well. Like, you can have a, a good overhead view and you can just change it on the fly and also you can change from life to right. I think this was one, I don't think it was a launch GameCube title. I'm pretty sure that was like Luigi's Mansion and some other odd games. And where did I leave my other Pikmin? The first number is how many you have in your squadron. The second number is how many Pikmin are on the field. And I guess I'll send all these guys to carry this in. You can ca have more carrying it than is needed. They'll carry it a little bit faster. But where the heck did I leave these other guys? Hey, you guys. Are you going to come back? I think actually, can I check this on my map? Uh, well, it would help if I had some sort of map to check it on, but I guess I can't. But I really like the camera views. You can have an over one, you can have a, or, actually no, it's just over and shoulder view, but you can zoom in and out and stuff. It's just, it's a really good camera, that's very important in any video game. If you don't have a good camera, games are, a, a lot of games are a pain in the ass to play. And come over here, Mr. Pikmin, I believe that's if we have 23 on there. Yep! It's, it, like I said, it's a lot, a lot of multitasking. You gotta pay attention to everything, and you gotta be thinking and do multiple things at once. Because you only have 30 days. It makes it a lot, very intense. Like, I, uh, I had completed in 30 days my first playthrough of it. But, uh, I, I was very limited on the days, and I think I need to get three, piece in, three pieces in one day to get it. So I had to reset maybe 10, 15 times. Hopefully I won't have to do it in this Let's Play, because so, I sort of know what I'm doing. But, it may have to happen. And I should probably not overtake this wonderful thing of our lives actually being saved by these lovely slaves. Oh, glorious! With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back towards home. My ship can once li once again lift off- I, I don't understand why I can't read! This is so dumb! The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. And, okay, it the first day isn't timed, but with- our ending of our first day with our Pikmin because I didn't call them back. They're discolored, which looks really weird. They're gonna head back into your onion. We're gonna head back in the ship, and I really like this end of the day theme. <laughs> I like that little delay on that last note. I always screwed up. I'd always like to sing along with it. I'd be like, but, 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 but. Yeah, and I probably just yelled into the mic and completely peaked it and got your ears annoyed. And after each day, you get one of these little things. One day since impact, I've somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on this planet's surface, or if they merely decide to join me for other reasons. Either way, it seems like they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never, may never turn the home to my family on the planet Hakati. Analysis shows my life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below, as it holds the keys to my survival. I shall name it the Forest of Hope. I will explore tomorrow. And after each game, uh, each day, it gives you like a little stats thing on what happened, how many pieces you got, how many Pikmin you got, and yeah. So I'm going to save, and I guess this Let's Play is going to do, I'm just going to do a day at a time. Hopefully I'll get like two or maybe... One, at least, I'll try that. I don't know what I'm doing with the episode so far, but I guess next time on Let's Play Pikmin 1, what, what, just, just say Pikmin. Next time on Let's Play Pikmin, we are going to head to the Forest of Hope and see what we can do and get any of those tons of parts in this area. So I've been Tibbs Untitled, and I guess I'll see you guys next time.